Um, so this today's about shadow work. I mean, what is shadow work? I mean, every time someone is saying they're not ha they're not doing well, or they're saying that um, you know they're they're tired, they're sad. Everyone tells them, "Oh, well, you need to do your shadow work." And so, have you ever thought, what is that? I mean, what does that pertain? Because um, there's a lot to it. I mean, because shadow work is actually emotions and things that you have over your lifetime since you were a child that you have pushed down into your body and you've sort of recorded it there and you've kept it there um, and because it was easier to just push it somewhere than to release it and feel the feelings and actually move through it because the in this in this world, that's usually what we all do just to get by so that we don't have to deal with the pain and the suffering. We just push it away like it never happened. Um, and it, it, it can come from your childhood. It could come from um, things that just happen to you on a daily basis. Um, uh, any kind of trauma, you push it away. And it also can come from all directions and time because um, we have aspects in other lifetimes and we have a lot of trauma that happens there. And so when we repeat something over and over again, usually it's a shadow. It's something that we do over and over again and we can't figure out how to get out of this cycle. So um, some of the benefits for doing shadow work when you do it is, is it improves your relationship with yourself and others. Um, you clear per perception. You, you can see things in a clearer way. You, um, you don't, don't say those stories over and over. Stay in that victim mentality where you say, whatever happened, you want to play the story over and over in your mind. And it, it, it tends to um, build even more sadness, even more energy that you're holding. Um, also enhance energy is it, it, it enhances your energy when you release it and you also um, have more of a physical uh, higher vibration and it helps with your ascension and to be able to move into the light a lot easier the more you release the more space you make for the light so um, that's a that's that's what uh, you want to do is relate release these energies so that you can bring more light in. But the first thing you have to do is believe that you're worthy. And you have to believe that you, you can do this and you are worth letting go of these energies. Um, you also need to, the victim mentality is the stories, is saying the same things over and over again. So releasing the victim mentality, letting go of the fact that, you know, yes, it did happen. Um, and it did happen to me, but everybody is in their own um, uh, in their own story, doing their own things, and they come from their own filters, their own childhood, their own trauma traumas, and so they all have different reasons for doing what they're doing. But taking responsibility for yourself and giving forgiveness, because you have to give forgiveness in order to release it, and and if you look at forgiveness as a way of helping yourself heal, then that's when you're gonna truly do really well with this because forgiveness is unleashing you from the shackles that you put on yourself. So um, you, you, when, you, when you have, when you're, when you're upset with somebody and you have these stories and you're um, uh, playing the stories over and over in your mind, you're actually packing that energy in your heart and you're actually holding part of that person hostage because of you're holding part of their soul energy in, in your system. And so that's why we, we go through inner child work and we help us heal from it and release some of this stuff. And also when you do that, you also are, <laughs> David's down there, he, he keeps getting my attention with this divine ray, he's so cute. <laughs> Anyways, um, Anyway, so you also are, when you're doing this, you're releasing, um, you're releasing their, you're giving their soul energy back to be cleared and cleansed. And then you're also receiving all the energy that you gave to them on the upset, clear and cleansed. 
And so everybody gets a healing. Everybody gets to cut the cords and release and be removed from the pain and the suffering. So forgiveness isn't just about um, thinking whatever that person did was okay. It's about allowing energies to leave. It's allowing to know that everybody has their own stories, knowing that everybody comes into their situation, doing, you know, seeing the different perspectives and knowing that it harms you and you no longer want to carry that energy anymore. So you would rather give forgiveness than carry it anymore. Um, so it's like um, how you how you find a shadow um, is you pay attention to your feelings because your feelings are your barometer. It tells you um, what's going on. It tells you um, when you're sad or when you're upset. Um, what am I feeling? Like if you're feeling sad, why am I feeling this way? Where is this coming from? You know, did something happen to me earlier today that was a trigger? And if it is a trigger, then why do you have this trigger? Um, Go within and ask yourself these questions. Uh, uh, wait for the answer from within because you have all the answers. They're all within your heart. Um, our, our shadows are located in our subconsciousness. We bury them in there. We bury it as deep as we can because we don't want to deal with that. Um, so the first step is to become aware of the current feelings that you're having and then identify the patterns. So like you might have feelings of I'm not good enough, I'm not lovable, I'm flawed, my feelings are not valid, I must take care of everyone around me. Why can't I just be normal like others? How, how come I have these emotional upsets? Um, these are all answers that you know, they're inside you and you can, um, once you start bringing the answers out, you can start dealing with releasing it and letting it go. Um, so you kind of check in with yourself and, and figure out what, what it is that's causing you to trigger to these reactions and to these stories. Then once you've, uh, once you've done that and you've focused on where it is, then you think about where am I feeling it in my body? You know, you know kind of like close your eyes. Think about a trauma. I wanna do, I wanna do an exercise together. Um, think about a trauma um, when you're, any trauma that you could think of that bothers you. And then just close your eyes and then take a deep breath. And as you take a deep breath, I want you to go in and think about where is it that you feel this trauma? Does it feel like it's in your solar plexus? Does it feel like it's in your heart? And then once you, once you locate where it's at in your body, you want to learn how to move energy. So you're going to take, imagine that there's some rainbow energy coming down through your crown. So you're going to take a deep breath and you're going to breathe that rainbow energy right through where the pain's at. And you feel a little bit of it release. So then take another deep breath and breathe it down. And then continue to do this until you feel the energy move. Because moving the energy through your body is the most important thing to bring it down to the, you're gonna send it all the way down to the ends of your toes. So take another deep breath and move it down. And then you're gonna move it into the earth and so take another deep breath. Breathe it into the earth to be clear and cleansed. And you can feel your energy lighten up and release as it moves out. And if you, you know, cause your body is your barometer. If you feel like it's still there, then take some more breaths and breathe it on out. So this exercise, you can go ahead and open your eyes now. This exercise can be done anytime you're having a sad feeling, you don't understand where it's coming from. Or if you've got a story that keeps going on and on in your mind, just breathe it and release it and let it go to be cleansed. And it's as simple as that, just the breath will move it out. And because emotion is energy and the breath is energy too. And so when you, when you use your consciousness with your breath, you can move it right out of your body. 
And you can also do the same with the light. So after you breathe it all out, you're gonna breathe in some golden light. You just breathe it in and fill your body with golden light. And you feel your body expand and relax into the energy. So that's, that's an exercise you can do anytime that you're trying to release energies that you're um, carrying around. Um, and another, another, another ex exercise you can do to release shadows is that you can explore it. You can do a journal. You can write down, why is it I'm feeling this way? Why is it that people uh, uh, trigger me in this way? Um, mark down every single time that you have a problem and then go back to it later and you'll start to narrow down what it is that's causing the problem. Um, you can also write a letter to those who hurt you because by writing the letter, you're removing all that energy from your body and you're pouring it out into the letter. Any way you can get it out of your body, you're shifting it out in that way. And then you can take the letter, you don't even have to send it to the person, you just take it outside and release it to the light. So just burn it and release it to the light. Um, and then, Another way that you could do it is a guided meditation for your inner child and to, and to do a soul retrieval of all the energies that you had released to all these different traumas. And we're going to do that when I finish talking, and then we'll open it up for everybody to have questions or whatever it is you, you want to know. Um, and then also cutting cords and releasing the people from that, that has cut, that has made energetic cords towards you drawing your energy so you want to cut cords and also you can go into akashic records coaching and you can also release shadow work that way in all directions and time um and then there's also um angels and guides and um deities and goddesses that you can call upon to help you with the shadow work um archangel um all the archangels and masters of the light will help you, but some of them that you want to call upon that directly works with shadow work is Archangel Zadkiel or Saint Germain or Archangel Michael. All the violet flame um, angels, they transmute all this energy that you're trying to release. Um, um, Archangel Zadkiel is known for um, helping people with forgiveness. Uh, he works with the violet flame and the higher vibrationals. Um, and also, um, he also works with um, all of the masters of light and angels too. So, I mean, you can call upon your angels and your guides and the people that you, the, the, uh, that you work with to help clear and cleanse all of this energy. Or you can um, also do a lot of meditation and and, and help in that way, connect with your guides in that way through meditation. And so what I wanted to, I wanted to um, end with, uh, with is the meditation and then we'll open it up for questions. But we're gonna do a guided meditation to um, heal your inner child and to uh, do a soul retrieval and cut all contact, um, contracts. Um, and afterwards we'll open up the questions. So everybody just relax and take a deep breath. And I want you to imagine that this beautiful golden energy is coming down from the heavens. And you're gonna breathe it all the way down past your eyes, take a deep breath. Breathe it down. Take another deep breath. Breathe it all the way down past your shoulders. Take another deep breath. Breathe it all the way down past your knees. Take another deep breath. Breathe that beautiful golden energy all the way down to Mother Gaia's heart. And now she's going to send this beautiful energy all the way back up. Take a deep breath with all the keys and codes you need to help you with this healing work. Breathe it all the way up past your knees. Take another deep breath. Breathe it all the way up past your hips. Take 
Another deep breath. Breathing it into your heart and sending it out into the room. Filling it up with love and light. Take another deep breath. We're making this beautiful crystal tempo filled with light language just for this healing. Breathe it out. Let all outside noises fall away. Take another deep breath. And send it out. And I want you to imagine that you're taking your shoes off. And you're gonna bring your attention to your heart. We're gonna walk into this beautiful heart garden. And as you walk into your heart space, this is your beautiful space where you created peace and where that you can meet all the archangels and masters of light and all your galactic family. This is a beautiful garden that we're walking through. Just imagine that the warmth is on your feet and the beautiful trees, beautiful flowers, all the colors of the rainbow, you can smell them as you're walking through this beautiful garden. You can feel the wind on your face and the sun on the back of your neck. Beautiful high vibrational space. Just continue to walk down this beautiful trail through this beautiful scenery. And this is your heart space so you can create whatever you choose to create. And as we're walking, we see your higher self coming towards you. You're gonna take your hand and you're just gonna to continue to walk through this beautiful garden. And off in a distance, you see this child playing in and out of the field. And you're gonna walk over towards the child and the closer the child gets, the more you recognize this is you when you were around four, maybe three or four. You're going to take the child's hand and you're going to walk over to this beautiful bench with the light shining down. And you're gonna sit down with your higher self. And put your child, your inner child in your lap. And you're gonna look down into the beautiful eyes of this child. And you see all the pain and trauma there. And you allow this beautiful baby to tell you all the pain and all the suffering that it's had to endure. And as, as she is talking or he, you wipe the tears from the eyes and let them pour their heart out to you. And just listen and hold space as this baby releases all the pain. I'll give you a few minutes for them to talk. And as she talks, your guardian angel putting her hand or his on your back 
and on the child's back. They're bringing in this beautiful violet flame. Just breathe as it goes through your body as you release all this pain. And then I want you to say to your child that I love you and I'll always be there for you. I may not have always been there for you in the past, but I will be from now on. I will take care of you and protect you and wipe her tears or his tears away. And then take a deep breath and hold your child. Breathe your child back into your heart where they belong. Take another deep breath. Breathe it in. Stay within your heart where they belong. Now your higher self is going to take your hand and walk you over to this beautiful lake and help you into the water. I want you to just lean back, just take a deep breath and release and lean back. Just let your arms float up and your body float to the surface. Your guardian angel has you by the shoulders. Gonna spill this beautiful pool with golden water. Take a deep breath. As it fills, filling you up with beautiful high Christ energy. And as it does this, it's releasing all this beautiful violet flame through your body is helping you release all this sadness and all the pain you've been carrying around. Just take a deep breath and release it with a violet flame. Feel your body get lighter and lighter as you release all the stories, all the suffering, all the pain. You're just going to let it go. Take another deep breath and let it go. And then this beautiful silver ray is coming down into the water along with the pink for a beautiful feeling of love. And just take a deep breath and breathe it through your body, cutting all cords, releasing all energies that no longer serves you. And now your higher self is telling you to look in your heart, go within your heart. And it's just like diving into the water, dive in. Go to where you hide the pain, deeper and deeper. Swim deeper until you find it. And when you find it, your higher self is there with you, hand them the key. And they're gonna open the door to the prison of all the people that you've held there. Take a deep breath and release all the souls from your heart. You're going to feel your heart get lighter and lighter as they leave into the light to be healed. Take another deep breath and release it. Archangel Michael is there to receive them and take them to the light. One more time and release. Now your higher self wants you to walk into that beautiful, that hole that you had put all these people. And we're gonna create a beautiful garden where all the darkness was. So take a deep breath. And throw your hands up and create 
it looks like pixie dust you're throwing around. You're creating this beautiful, beautiful garden. You're reclaiming a piece of your heart back. And now as you stand in the middle of this beautiful garden you just created, you call back all the soul that you release to all these people during all the trauma and the pain, clear and cleanse. So take a deep breath, breathe it back into your heart. One more breath, clear and whole. And now you're gonna come back out through your heart with your higher self, back to the lake where you're at. And this beautiful magenta light is coming down to fill you full of love through every system, every cell, all the way through the bone, through the blood, through the organs, feel everything expand as you have this beautiful healing. And now your higher self is going to help you up. And we thank everyone that was here to help us with the healing. We're going to walk all the way back through the heart garden, knowing that your inner child is safe and loved within your heart. And we're coming back out through your heart, bringing our consciousness back into our body. Take a deep breath. Settle into your body, breathe this red energy into the earth like the roots of a tree. And when you're ready, you'll wiggle your fingers and toes and open your eyes. And now we're gonna open the floor up to questions and you can share with us how you felt and let us know about your healing and how you're doing. Robin, are you there? That was great, Bonnie. That was Thanks. that was really fun. Um, so Robin. while we were up in um, our garden, our yeah. gardens, I, uh, I I just opened up all possible dimensional realities for anybody watching of the, of their their current selves. So as they were healing their inner child in this reality that we're at, it's all the multi-dimensional realities that self is at as well. Oh, that's amazing, David. That, uh, Thank you for doing that. So, yeah. does anybody else want to talk about their experience? Go ahead and unmute yourself. Bobby says um, she has a lot of emotions and she feels way lighter. Oh, good, good. That's a good sign. When you feel lighter, that means you released a lot of you released a lot of shadow work. So, when we when some like say like somebody wants to do this in the future, if you can you just do this yourself go into this type yeah. of thing that you just did? they could they can listen to the recording and do it themselves or they can if they don't want to do guided they could call about upon their guides and angels and just you know go into meditation by themselves but some people it's a little easier to be guided so you know you can do either or <laughs> anybody else want to share their experience you can go ahead and unmute yourself. It, it was so funny. Like literally right before you, you started saying about the violent flame, all of a sudden I was just feeling violent flame all, all around us and stuff. And then right before you said golden water, I was just feeling like I said, all we're all in the golden water. Like we're so, we're so linked. It's crazy. I know. Um, <laughs> was, I was seeing it, so it come in, but I, would, I wasn't speaking fast enough to keep up with what was happening. So I kept yeah. skipping over my words. That happens a lot when you're guiding, when you're working with the angels and guides like that. Um, yeah, it was really beautiful. Like it's like the uh, the water was cleansing and then nourishing, and that's all that golden liquid light that we need. And like for the, the trauma that was being released and everything, that water was really nice. And the garden was beautiful too. And and then feeling your heart with the garden, it was just. Uh, and then it. I was seeing it too as like a, an energy garden, like light energies and and like light, like you, so you're filling your heart with more light, like it's like rose light, green light, yellow light, you know, there's all these different flowers, but, but of flowers of light. That was cool. That's beautiful. Um, so 
someone, okay, Ben says, he says, wonderful, thank you so much. And he goes, who, David, feel lighter, more in, interconnected within, forgiven, appreciated by my inner child and my pain has fallen away. Well, that's awesome and good to hear. <laughs> yeah, and Bonnie says, or Bobby says, I love the garden. That was so beautiful. And you know, you yeah. guys can do that meditation and go into your inner garden anytime you choose, because actually that's your heart portal to, to the divine. So that's where you connect to your guides and your angels. And so anytime you bring your consciousness down and connect there, um, that's the safest place to be when you're when you're traveling through the ethers and connecting with your guides and angels and everybody has a different heart garden don't they they create it in the most beautiful way that their heart chooses so i kind of make a few suggestions but i know that you're gonna you're gonna make it more beautiful than i could ever imagine i've got like fountains and then paved stones and flowers everywhere like all this like glycerin light, light flying around out of the fountain. I do, a, I do a Tuesday evening meditation. And because our group meditates so often together, it's on Zoom every Tuesday, that we almost create the same world together <laughs> because we, we've, been, we've, we've been in so many adventures in there that we almost see the same things. Just as David was saying, when we're so connected that we see the same things. It's the same thing that happens with our meditation group too. And anybody's welcome if they want to, to join me every week on Tuesday, I do a meditation. I usually post it in the New Earth uh, group too. Any more questions before we um, close out? Are we all good? And feel free to do this medication meditation Anytime you want to do some more shadow work, because whenever you, whenever you release some wounding, it's just like like the layers of onion. Some more will come up, and then you're going to want to do another one and release some more. Yeah, the oh, no more that you need. Sorry. Bobby says she loves being here with us. <laughs> oh, we love having you here, Bobby. We're glad that you came. So magical, truly. And true. everyone that came, Jennifer, we're glad you came, and Ben and Cole. I think Jennifer was going to say something. Yeah, say something, Dave. Uh, when I was when we were walking, I had I didn't show I didn't see my four year old self. I don't remember four. And I went to the backyard in Pontiac <laughs> <laughs> where I grew up for six years. And I always escaped to the woods. There's this little path into the wood through the through these set of woods and beyond that was this big open field and it had dots of trees and, and that's where I went yeah I See, but that's the thing with spirit they'll have you it doesn't matter what I'm guiding you to do spirit will have you do what's needed so you'll but see I the change that you need I met that child yeah I met yeah the child of that time not yeah. not the four-year-old child not the not the young child I met that child and that's A hard time. That's the child that was here. Let's just send her some love right now, guys. Let's just send some yeah. love from our heart. Yeah, I'm hearing she had an amazing release and uh, it was really beautiful. So and they're going to continue. Energy. I'm asking the guides and angels to continue to work with you and help you help you through the healing drink. And everyone drink lots of water and try to eat um, fresh fruits and vegetables because it helps when you're going through the healing process. And also, when she's going through this right now, the perfect thing that's happening for her is you're feeling, you're feeling the feelings, you're feeling the way that you felt at that time. And this is the best way to release your shadow because you can let this go once you just feel it. If you just hold that feeling and then when you're ready, Burn it up, allow it to burn. Like take that violet flame, St. Germain's violet flame, and just burn it up and let it go. They, just, let they it just go. hold out your hold out your hand and imagine like a violet flame 
going all over yourself, all of those memories, and then purifying them all and releasing them all back to a uh, white light. And then, but the, yeah. the, the best thing is, is that Jennifer is really feeling it. And that's, that's one of the best, the, the signs I've learned this year, one of the signs that you're really able to- You're really doing the work because that's you're feeling yeah. it. Because yeah. when you're in the emotion, yeah. yeah. Because if you're not feeling the emotion, you're not able to release it. Yeah. Because that's the yeah. thing that we did is we start feeling the motion and we cram it down in because we're afraid. We don't want to feel it anymore. So we have to let it run through your body, release it, let it go. That, that breathing exercise we did in the beginning, use that to push it into the earth and let it go. Um, ben is saying, how might we be able to support others in their shadow work without exerting too much influence that we may gracefully allow others anonymous expansion and experience um what do you think robin just like ho holding space for them and, just holding space and, and not trying to um not trying to um get them wrong for what they're feeling or anything like that and just tell them that they're, you're there to support no matter what and just be there for them that's all they need they don't need you to solve the problem right they, you just hold space and also send them love like we you know like we just did we sent her some beautiful love healing and i also I'm, I'm calling upon all your guides and angels to you know comfort you and keep help you work through the keep working through it until you've released it and you know so i'm seeing some okay. inner child keys here for her one second here i'm sending her some keys swirling around her energy field right now, integrating into her energy. Mark, uh, to help her release. Okay. Yeah, she should feel that, okay. That was really good energy, David, wow. I felt it. <laughs> Thank you. That, that, that was for everyone. <laughs> so appreciate it. So, um, you know, just continue to stay close with your angels and keep working and um, releasing it. And is there any more questions before we, um, and, and I know Jennifer is gonna be okay because she can, she can message me. She's from my circle. So I don't feel like we're leaving on a note where she needs help. I feel like we're giving her a real hug. Yeah, I wish I could give you a red card. Yeah. But, but, you know, she knows she can talk to me anytime she wants and I'll be here for it. So. You know, everybody just hold space for each other. And, you know, this is um, hard work to do. And um, the only thing you can do is be kind to yourself and um, be kind to others during the process. Because the whole world is doing this, whether they want to or not, it's coming. And, as, and as you're releasing, try to imagine the golden light coming in to fill everything that's going, it, everything that goes, it creates space for new light to come in. And if you ask your angels and your guides to assist you, usually they'll bring in the light, but you can, it helps to imagine the light coming in. As you feel the energy coming out your root and going to the center on these releases, bringing the golden light to fill in those voids. Because uh, over the, it's all around us right now. And over the next lot, number of months, there's going to be a lot of collective release and individual releasing. Like it's basically we're getting like supercharged vibrations over these next three months. So there's going to be a lot, a lot to release within for sure i feel like what we could do between the three of us because the three of us are really good at doing a healing meditation so let's just bring in some healing energy for everyone because we have a few minutes it's only 247 we got like 10 minutes so let's just bring in um i'm gonna let david start and then um we'll just add to it as he does it so everybody just relax and we're gonna bring in some healing energy okay, okay. so close your eyes Imagine a cube around you, a square cube, it's Metatron's cube. Okay, so we're gonna call in Metatron, Archangel Gabriel, Raphael, Michael, Uriel, Yeshua, Mother, Father, God, Source, Creator, all our higher selves. Okay, and they're going to be creating 
a cube of healing light. Is there? Yes. Okay. So there's blue gray. That's going to loosen up any things that we need to release. Unity light, rainbow light coming from all angles, coming from source, coming from Yeshua, coming from our crown chakra. Now this cube is starting to spin and the light of source is coming in and spinning around us right now. It is spinning. There is lots of white, rainbow light, blue light, red light, golden light, yellow light. Add magic light. Okay, hold on. Adding magic, magic to the cubes. Cubes are spinning. They are healing centers, chakra cake. A cube is opening up straight to source. Source light is coming down through the cube, healing all chakra systems. Activations. Activations coming online for chakras of all here right now. Codes, source codes coming in for healing and to assist the chakra healing upgrade. The cube is spinning faster and faster, engulfing the healing energies all around us. I am here, dear ones. I'm Yeshua. My golden light is coming into the cube now to fill in your hearts from my heart to your heart. I send to you. Golden light coming into our hearts from Yeshua. Cube integration at 90%. Dear ones, I am Metatron. My healing is most powerful. Transformation within all of you begins now. Ninety-nine percent, hundred percent. They're holding light around us right now. Hold on, this is the post. Green light, healing all wounds, filling all holes in our fields, in all timelines and all dimensions. Source Creator Yeshua, the Archangels, our higher selves, higher self upgrades. What? Upgrades. Okay, hold on. Hold the space. Hold the space. Energies come in directly from higher self into higher self. Lower self, Gaia self, Gaia self upgrades. Codes going down into Gaia for unpacking to Gaia self. Higher self unpacking. Codes coming back into our fields. Cube has been completed. Energies are integrating. Okay. I'm, okay. Getting, I'm getting that I that after all this upgrades and all this feeling, they want you to envision your wings, your angel wings on your back. You just open them up wide. And we're just gonna soar. We're gonna be free, free of all this pain and all this suffering. Soar above oh, the earth. Looking down at the earth how beautiful it is at Gaia. And just feel your soul be free. Remember who you are. Remember the light and the beauty that lives with inside your soul before you begin to put in all the pain and all the suffering. You are now free. Soar. 
above the trees and relax into this beautiful energy. Feel the wind on your face and the sun on your back and feel the freedom within your heart as you soar. Feel your soul expand and release and soar some more. And then I'm gonna bring in Robin and have her say what she's getting. We now find ourselves in the inner earth. And we were all being put into our own little healing chambers. And the gentle love of the Lemurian energy is here washing and raining down healing energy to each and every one of us that are here today and those that will be watching afterwards. Allow this energy to flow into your being. You are loved, dear ones. I got there. I got. We love you too. That's funny. That's great. Oh, so we're gonna stunning. we're gonna bring ourselves. Are you ready, Robin, to bring them yeah, back? I'm done. Go ahead. I'll let you do it. No, you can do it. We're just gonna bring ourselves back out gently out of this beautiful healing energy, and I want you to know that the angels are sealing that energy around your body. And it's going to continue to heal every system, every cell, and continue to connect you to your higher selves and all the activations as you're being ready to do, as you're ready to choose. Ever so lightly, wiggle your fingers and toes and open your eyes. How's everybody doing? That was incredible. That was so much fun. Thank you, by the way, Robin and David, for being a part of today's beautiful healing. The whole time that David was doing his thing, I was already infusing the Lemurian um, healing energy on top of everybody. Nice, thanks. <laughs> Bobby says, wow, lightheaded and I have a ring in See my so much head, energy not my ear, right amazing. <laughs> Jennifer says, incredible. Yeah, you guys be gentle to yourself the rest of the day, you know, rest when you need to rest, drink lots of water. Yeah, that really was awesome. that was if you're so looking unexpected. for the reading of this, like so, because there was a lot that happened here today, and you might want to re listen to some of the meditations, we will be putting this up as soon as this gets ready, as soon as we get done, and we'll be putting it up into our YouTube page. It's called New Earth AC, and you'll be able to watch it anytime you want to after that. Yeah, and it'll help you. The healings will help you to re listen when you're ready. Goodbye, That's so much everyone. good to be. Okay. Namaste. Goodbye. Namaste.